That's a great idea. I love it. You know, it's, it's, it's okay. Let's do it. Let's move on. Is, it, is this your Zach impression, by the way? I could do better. I, I made it a bit too much like, yeah, like this, but. Spoiler alert. <laughs> We're searching for soldiers for a fight against the mother world. I could help you. A small fee, obviously. There is so much lore. There is so much world building within this. How deep do you go with all that? Did anybody surprise you by asking you something you were just like, you know, I haven't thought of that yet. There might've been a couple moments where Sophia took some kind of view of something where I was like, oh my God, okay, you are awesome. <laughs> okay, that, okay, fair enough. Give me a second. Yeah. Uh, but mostly, once we knew we had the sort of two players, it being the Beltians and the Mother World forces, and then a big timeline, of course, that covers the entirety of their history. There was a lot of work done just to kind of make it real. I think I try and go as deep as my character would be in that world. So for me, it was very important to understand the world that Gunnar is from, the planet Velt. And once my character meets Kai, Charlie's character, that's the first time I'm off planet. First time in a spaceship. Yeah. He says, buckle up, I'll buckle up. Yeah. I don't know what to do. <laughs> It's so great with Zach because he's so enthusiastic. I remember the first time I met him, I sat down with him in his trailer and he just told me the movie. Mm -hmm. Like verbally, he's like, this happened and that, and it's just all in his head. But we did some work. We figured out a handshake. No. Mm -hmm. We met up for coffee and just like, we're trying to get that camaraderie going. No, a lot to be explored. Yeah. Can, I, can I see the handshake? No, you can't. We, we can't need show to you. Be we, face can't show, to face. we can't show you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a secret handshake. <laughs> <laughs> He trusted me with the whole visual, with the, with the hair. So basically I wanted Cora to have short hair because I didn't think that female soldiers would ever be given the choice to have long hair. I remember there's a scene where you see body parts of Cora. You see her naked and you'll see that in the rated R version. And I wanted her to not look perfect, let's say that way. And Zach went with it to change a bit the aesthetic of what you might anticipate. It's really incredible. His brain, I, I don't fully believe he's a human. <laughs> uh, robot or alien? Robot, or alien, AI. genius, something, AI, yeah. <laughs> um, when I first met with him, it was like every wall was covered with sketches. And there was a huge makeup of the whole set that we were working mm. on. And, and he could like show us literally where we were supposed to be. The question that that poses is, is there anything for me to do other than to show up and just be a tool? Right. And the thing with Zach is that in spite of all of that specificity, he's left enormous room to collaborate. You'd notice the tiniest things you do and you go, okay, mm. I want to close up on this, like what he's doing down there or like, he'd go to the, the background people and get single shots of people in the background because they did interesting things, things that weren't in the script. It's a wonderful thing to work with a director that goes, okay, this is what I this is what I think. Tell me what you think and let's see where we meet in the middle. And he was always very open to be like, yeah, actually that's a that's a great idea. I love it. You know, it's, it's, it's okay, let's do it. Let's move on. It's a, great. <laughs> Something that I brought, actually my wife brought that he didn't see coming is this. Uh, this is a pres a gift from my wife that I wear in the movie. I won't say too much because it plays a lot in the backstory. And it all came from my wife's gift, and I said, I love this, can we put it in the movie? And he said yes, and he just kept running with it. He's very inclusive, very inclusive, you know, with what you are bringing to the table. Us being the actors, we obviously are the instrument of interpretation, right? So some part of you are going to be left in it. Yeah.